Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Media. I'm Andrew. In this channel, we'll be looking at emerging markets to explore big opportunities for growth. If it's your first time in my channel, please feel free to go through all the videos. If you see what you like, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Again, I've been seeing a lot of people watching, about 90% of you guys are watching, but have not yet hit that subscribe button. It would support my channel a whole lot if you hit subscribe, like, and the notification bell will tell you when I release a video. If you're new to the crypto market as well as the stock market, feel free to use the two links that I have in the description box to open an account with Webull or Robinhood. In doing so, you support my channel, you'll get free stocks, and I'll also get free stocks. Again, I'm not sponsored by them at all. I'm just giving you information. Last but not least, please remember that I am not a financial consultant. Everything I say is strictly my opinion. Use this information as preliminary information or do whatever it is that you find suitable. Just make sure that you are DD, you do diligence before you uh, invest. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. After a tumultuous year in the OTC market, I realized that maybe this year I'm gonna be trying to balance out my account a little bit better. It will help me capitalize on gains. Growth stocks is gonna be a major portion, OTC and cryptocurrency. So today I'm going to talk about a company that I think is going to make leaps and bounds in 2022. The company's called Robinhood. I know many of you might be saying, oh, that what, this company is still alive? Who trades on Robinhood anymore? The fact is, as of 2021, they do have 22.5 active million users. And trying to make a shift to cryptocurrency, I actually used the link below to sign up to get a Robinhood wallet when it launches. I know that Robinhood will not charge a fee for cryptocurrency, and that's the reason why you have to sign up to get this Robinhood wallet. Be sure to use the link and sign up. I started to look at Robinhood after seeing that Kathy Wood start to load up, and I know that when she's loading up, it means that a stock is hitting bottom. She was the one that says that well, there's going to be a shift to cryptocurrency. She's made this forecast, you know, like a year ago, way before it all happens. So I know a lot of people mentioned, oh, I don't understand cryptocurrency. I, it sounds so difficult. And then do what Kathy Wood does. She usually doesn't buy crypto itself, like Bitcoin. She prefers to buy GBTC, the platform that facilitates trades. So Robinhood, in essence, is the same. I have been using Coinbase. i have using other types of uh, platforms to trade. And I can tell you the fees is astronomical. So if Robinhood says they won't charge me a commission fee for all my transactions to do crypto, that's a no-brainer for me. Um, by the time that I sign up, like 1.9 something million on the wait list, you know, you don't have anything to lose. Go ahead. And if you get selected and you don't want to use it later, fine. But why not sign up? You can trade without having to pay for all these fees for crypto. I still feel like Robinhood is one of those platforms that's still pretty easy to use. Let's just look at Robinhood. Right now, it's trading at about $18.44, lower than IPO price. If you look at the one year on July 29, 2021, it was at $22.00. Around October, it was at $41.7, $42, and now it's at $18.44. Since they launched the Robinhood crypto wallet, they're going to add Shiba Inu without a doubt because right now Shiba Inu is like neck to neck with Dogecoin, even more popular than Dogecoin in terms of trades. So that's going to give them even more revenues. And I used to think that, oh my goodness, how can these coins stay for so long if they don't have any utility? Uh... But I guess, you know, what I said was wrong. I mean, these meme coins continues and Dogecoin has been with us for a very long time. And the fact is Dogecoin has utility now. A lot of companies allow people to pay with Dogecoin, right? The same thing with Shiba Inu. I think with even AMC have decided that they're going to take Dogecoin. So we'll see. It's going to be an exciting year to see where cryptocurrency will go and where Dogecoin and Shiba Inu will go. I think Robinhood sees this. He's the success of these coins. That's why the transfer to the crypto wallet for this year is really going to help Robinhood. Let's just go to quickly go to their major statistics. I know that, you know, with Kathy Wood buying it, it seems like it's a good idea to buy. But let's just, just see. So I'm getting this information on businessapps.com in 2020, which is a 514% increase year on year. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, already, Robinhood has 22.5 million active users in 2021. The crypto wallet, I'm, I'm telling you here, look, 1.9 million uh, person in waiting for the Robinhood crypto wallet. That alone is an additional, you know, 2 million users. 
It added $3.4 billion to its balance sheet during the GameStop squeeze. Annual revenue for Robinhood. You see, in 2015, it was at $2.9 million. In 2020, it went up to $959 million. I mean, that is giant, giant growth. You know, users equates to revenue. That's common sense, right? So 2020, 2015, they start out with half a million. And by 2021, they're at 22.5 million. Some of the major competitors for Robinhood are E-Trade, TD, Ameritrade, Charles Schwab. And some of its alternatives are eToro, Coinbase. Looking at the average size accounts. On Robinhood, the average size account is about $3,500. Charles Schwab, you look at $240,000. Now, Robinhood's valuation is at $20 billion. Let's just quickly look at when they're going to launch. Oh, so, you know, there, there you go. I mean, it's going to be launched this month. So it's probably a good idea for you guys to click on that link and sign up for your crypto wallet. I mean, I'm just going to be very excited to see how many trading pairs. Sometimes it may not matter how many trading pairs, the right trading pairs, right? And I just think that Shiba Inu is going to be on there. And I know for a lot of Shiba Inu enthusiasts, they're going to be so excited. The moment Robinhood announced that they're listing Shiba Inu on there, I think their stocks, both for Shiba Inu and Robinhood, will go up. That's what I think. In any case, I don't want to go anymore. There's so much more information to share on Robinhood, but I think that's enough for now. Uh, comment below and let me know what you think. Again, happy trading, everyone. Thanks for listening.